So, the other way the kidney failure can be treated is by using dialysis. The first thing is that unfiltered blood is taken from a blood vessel from a patient's arm. Right, this blood is mixed with anti-clotting chemicals to prevent the blood from clotting while it's going through the machine. And it's pumped through the entire thing using a blood pump. Once it goes up, it travels into the dialysis machine. So inside the machine, the blood and dialysis fluid is separated by a partially permeable membrane. So the blood flows in the opposite direction to the dialysis fluid, thereby maintaining a concentration gradient. So, as the dialysis fluid has no urea in it, there is a large concentration gradient, meaning that the urea moves across. As the dialysis fluid contains an equal to normal blood sugar level, it prevents any of the sugar or the nutrients from moving across into the dialysis fluid that you want to keep inside the blood. And finally, the clean blood is returned back to the patient. So, some of the main disadvantages of dialysis, however, is that it can go and lead to other medical problems if it's done over a long time, and a person needs to have quite a few hours of dialysis using a dialysis machine every week. It's also quite expensive and will need to be done for the rest of a person's life.